Hello, I'm recording this video for showing you uh, to show you the smart PCB material that I created, uh, which is freely available on my ArtStation store. Uh, so let's start by importing uh, the smart material uh, to our shelf. So you will uh, download these two SPSM files. One is for PCB Edge, and the other one is just uh, named as PCB Smart Material. So this is for the general surface of the PCB, and this one is for the edges of the PCB. You select and then drag and drop to your uh, material shelf. It will uh, they will be imported as Smart Materials and you will just select uh, whether you want to use this materials just for this project by selecting the project name or uh, if you want to use them uh, or set them constantly uh, to be placed on your shelf you just select the shelf and import them so let's i will cancel it because they are already imported uh, in my shelf so let's check the mesh which I have here. Uh, it's just for demonstration purposes. I have a material ID for the top part of this uh, geometry. You can see the uh, UV placement of this surface, which is the top surface. So my next step will be assigning the PCB smart material to this material so material for this material id so this is the pcb material i'm drag and dropping this to here and you can see that uh, it generates a green solder mask over top of this pcb we also have this edge which is applied at the edges this is uh, let me talk about first about the edge material edge material is just applied actually let me see the layer right the pcb edge material is a very easy and basic material actually you can do it yourself uh, in 10 seconds i suppose it consists of two edge colors one is the outer part the other is the inner part and these two has an normal difference so uh, we will be having some edge indents on the edge of this pcb you can see that i have a problematic uv's as well don't bother with it so pcb edge is just work uh, used for this and also from the edge color we have a mask which defines this inner area of this edge for that we have a gradient tree here which is applied as triplanar projection so it makes us independent uh, to be independent from the uvs so you scale or increase the scale of this gradient to make it applied to the inner part of this edge so you make the placement and then you have two colors at the edges so let's go on with the main part of the smart material which is the uh, pcb material so on this pcb material layer system we have uh, these parts and this is the base solder mask so you can change the color of the solder mask uh, they are they can be made uh, red today's manufacturing standards and also black or any other color uh, i will go on with the green for this and next we have four layers uh, for the main customization of this material let me uh, talk about them one is trace paint i put a note that trace paint here and you can just let me extend this part a little bit uh, paint this layer with sharp alpha white base color so i added these notes for you to paint these 
layers or you can add any fill layer or previously made textures to apply under this anchor layers so anything you add under this layer as a white uh, base color uh, they will be generate the related effect there so the effects are first trace paint uh, let me show you how it works i'm increasing the sharpness a little bit it's made by increasing the hardness value of the alpha so once i click and drag any line by holding shift key it generates a trace root uh, on the pcb so making this like that let me adjust the scale first so you can see that by holding shift and making some angular root here generates a better looking on the pcb traces so other one is the solder paint here uh, you can paint this area with any alpha to create solder effect here all right so let's put them like this so copper edge connectors are works uh, works like adding edge connectors to a pcb with copper uh, plated effects just like this so this whole pcb can be inserted into a female connector which reads these pins as uh, to make a connection or make some uh, transference with the pcb so copper edge connector works like this so white pcb layer is just used to add a pcb text over the pcb so you can add any fill layer let me show you let's use fonts for that actually i need to add a fill layer first for that fill i will just enable the color and i will drag and drop this font layer to the color channel of this fill layer so i will add here a pcb version let's make up some numbers point b2 like this and next from the uv channel we will just place this text to anywhere we want to create uh, the white printing on the pcb so first you need to disable the uv wrap actually there are too many children in the house they are playing with each other sorry for the background noises it's usual at these times and better they are happy so i scaled down the text and placed it by disabling the uv wrap so we can just rotate this texture and put it in place like this so let's switch to the 3d view you can see that we have a little bit of warp and the height difference on the pcb so we have already a dirt layer you can make it clear by removing this dirt add-on and also you can create traces between your components on your mesh actually you need to model this additional components so i'm switching to the solder paint here i'm scaling my alpha and putting some solders to the connection areas like this you can see that if we put some solder here and there we can create roots between the solder points like this actually these are not supposed to be 
connected between each other. So you can add any solder point to anywhere you want. You can make some extrusion if your mesh has enough polygons. Let me show you from the material menu. I will increase the scale of the <clears throat> displacement, but we need to increase the subdivision count to generate height. I don't know why it doesn't work. Let me see the height. So our subdivision may not be enough for this polygon count. Let's check. Actually, it should be height. Very strange that it doesn't let me select the PBR. Oh, we are with PBR metal rough alpha. Let's switch to the standard PBR metallic roughness shader like this. You can see that we have a explode displacement here. It affects all the areas actually for the height map. So let's remove the, that part. It doesn't work good. So you can use an extrusion for the specific displacement channel for this to isolate that extrusion specifically for this material group. So actually let's do that so, since we have started here. I added a blank layer and from texture set settings I will add a channel as the displacement. So uh, this time I will set my material to read the tessellated geometry from the displacement texture. So I am selecting the displacement by here and let's increase the scale of this displacement for now. Now we need to transfer the height values to the displacement channel. It's not easy by doing this one by one. So I'm switching to the displacement channel and set the blending of this displacement channel as pass through. Actually, I need it is not what I need. I need to for correction. I switch to high channel and set this high channels blending as pass through. So all the height values will be gathered on this empty layer with height. And then I will add an anchor point for this empty layer. But since it reads all the height values under it with pass through blending it transfers all the height value with to this anchor so let's rename it as height catcher anchor next i will add another empty layer and this time i will switch to displacement which is set to normal i will add a fill layer under this uh, empty layer and just select the displacement channel and for that displacement channel i will select the height catcher anchor and i will select the height channel so it will read the height channel and fill it with displacement channel in this layer you can see that we have extreme solder marks solder uh, points here <clears throat> so let's decrease the scale make a better solder extrusion on our mesh so our subdivision is not enough actually because we need to also subdivide our mesh to get uh, the needed polygon count but let's leave it that way because uh, you i think you get the idea of creating this extrusions for the solder so you can also use the height channel of your texture as a displacement texture on your render engine or the game engine
So let's disable this displacement. We had enough fun with that, with an unsuccessful try actually. So let's move on by adding the traces between these solders. So making them by here, just a try. I'm trying to see the scale of this traces which is looking good so you make some angular turning for this traces but better careful not to connect them like this also you can adjust the smoothness of your alpha more to get the to remove the distance between the actual trace and the clearance uh, around it also you can change it by from the switching to the trace effect layer just like here it reads our trace painting by here and you can see that it has some blur and histogram scan to read the actual um, clearance of the trace <clears throat> So make it change, add changes on the histogram select to adjust the uh, width of this actual trace. And also you can decrease the blur to control the clearance of the inside part to make your own trace adjustment just like that. So this works. Uh, like that and as I said for earlier uh, you can acquire it uh, freely from my ArtStation store and I hope you like it. See you.